The 2021 edition of the Tour de France has to be one of the most hotly anticipated in recent memory. I guess people say that every year, but to be honest, Roglic, Pogacar going head to head yet again. Van der Poel making his Grand Tour debut. Wout van Aert is back. Julian Alaphilippe. How are the Ineos Grenadiers going to try and win this race? It's going to be an absolute cracker for sure. And with that, our PCM playthrough of the Tour de France begins today from Brest to Long the new 21 stages in total it's going to be a thriller i have sorted the start list in order of ability but i'm not going to read you the entire thing of course you guys know who's here we have ala philippe in the also here yumbo have their new jersey as well the defending champion with a strengthened team at UAE for sure. Like I said, Van Der Poel making his Grand Tour debut at the Tour this year. Bora have a new jersey for the Tour de France and so do Total Energies with their new jersey in game as well. You can see the full start list here, of course. And I did put out a poll asking you who we should choose for our team. We have the Ineos Grenadiers, we have Movistar and we have Bora Hansgrohe. And you guys have voted to go with Bora Hansgrohe. So we will be riding for Wilco Kelderman, trying to put the Dutchman into the yellow jersey. However, we also have green ambitions with Peter Sagan, trying to go after his eighth green jersey at the Tour de France. Will be pretty special. Bookman, Pollock, Conrad, Postelberger, Daniel Oss is here, as well as some guy I've never heard of called Ida Schelling, who you guys seem to really, really like. So Ida Schelling, we're going to try and get you a stage, my man. And looking at the parkours from Brest to Londonou, it looks almost like an Arzen classic. Hills all day long, particularly in real life. It doesn't look quite as hilly in game, I'm not going to lie to you. But the final climb to Londonou, very steep to start, and it does flatten off to the line. My pick for the stage is going to be Matthew van der Poel in real life. We're going to try and do our best today to get our Tour de France off to a great start though. The Tour de France is underway from Brest. Here we go guys. Oh, the grand loop around France is here and I think the only way we can get this playthrough underway is with the Ida Schelling attack. The first attack of the Tour de France. Don't you dare try and beat me there Koch. But um, yeah, Schelling a minus three day. It's not great, but I do want to put him in the breakaway and see if maybe Ida Schelling can be the first polka dot jersey of this Tour de France. Now, Kelderman gets a minus one, Sagan a plus one. Now, I do know today's stage is pretty difficult, a lot of hills. So we do need to be pretty cautious, I feel. And this is looking ever more difficult for Ida Schelling to get in the breakaway. We do have a few more riders, Tom Schoens and Kasper Pedersen as well, trying to join this group. But we are coming towards this KOM here, the first categorised climb of the Tour de France. Ida Schelling going for it versus Perichon. And Ida Schelling takes it despite this terrible day for him. So we have had a little chase on from the Peloton here. There is Mark Cavendish. Mark Cavendish, will he win a stage at this year's Tour de France, guys? The big... Big question, but I think this breakaway have now finally gone. We have five riders who have made this group and some pretty strong riders as well. Casper Pedersen and Tom Schoons are very strong. So yes, another fourth category climb coming up very, very quickly. And here we go. Let's go up to 99. Let's put in a full attack here with Ida Schelling. We get a nice attack as well. Very punchy rider. Casper Pedersen comes around though and Casper Pedersen takes this one. This is going to be very hotly contested. And by the way, guys, we can get a look at the new... Tour de France edition of the Bora Hansgrohe jersey. What do you guys make of it? I actually quite like it. It's very simple, but I do like the colours a lot and I think it looks pretty nice, I must admit. So you can see right ahead of us, guys, the Cote de la Cronen. I'm going to go with a very steep climb, the steepest descent of the Tour so far. A third category climb as well. We need to be very, very careful here. And this is going to be crucial in who ends up in the Polka Dot jersey. And so because of that, I'm going to spend some energy coming right to the front of this group. Up to 95 already with Schelling coming into this climb. There goes Casper Pedersen. We know he is the danger man from the previous KOM. Casper Pedersen going for it. Can we come round now with Ida Schelling? We're not going to come even close. Casper Pedersen destroys us right there. And we're going to stay on one single point even losing to blooming louis Minkiers of all people here now coming up we do have the first intermediate sprint of the tour de france of course one of our big goals here is to try and get green with peter sagan so daniel loss is going to move up right now with sagan on his wheel only 4k to go look at this ride by daniel loss here what's a rider up to 90 right now don't really want to spend any red on sagan but we have pedersen on our wheel here comes caleb ewan only one 
K to go right now for us and Sagan. There you go. Sagan goes for the line. Can we take some good points here? Case ball tries to come around, but Peter Sagan. I cut away at just the right moment right there, but we did take first place from the Peloton. Let's take a look up in the top right momentarily. There you go, 13 big points to kick us off. Now, I really need to consider my approach to the remainder of this stage. Ida Schelling is about to be caught and the rest of the breakaway. We could really try and make this race really difficult right now, which I think we will do because Sagan, on a fairly good day, can drop a lot of the pure sprinters right now and really gain some points in that green jersey. And if not, we can maybe gain a good position in the GC with Wilco early on. All right, so Ida Schelling has been caught. We still have over 50k to go in the stage. The Kernan all over the front right now, but Ida Schelling is going to set quite a hard tempo and we're going to continue to do so for as long as we can right now. And what this is hopefully going to allow us to do right now is place Ida Schelling right to the front of this group. Oh my God, do we have guys going for this? I'm not sure right now. Ida Schelling going for that KOM. He does beat Mark Cavendish luckily for us. So we do get one more point back, but still it's not enough for polka dots so you know what guys we have 30k to go right now i'm just not sure how to play this we don't have a breakaway left even do i try some attacks or do we just stay like this and try and win with Sagan on that final climb or even someone like Patrick Conrad on a really good day. So right now we do have Chris Froome on the front of stage one of the Tour de France. Things I didn't really expect to see once upon a time. He's really going hard as well. And now comes Nils Pollitt right to the front as well. Let's make sure all our guys are able to stay with the big German powerhouse. And here we go. Kasper Askren on the attack. For De Koenig, we have Rickard trying to follow, or maybe even Ivan Garcia Cortina, but Kasper Askreen on the attack, 17k to go. I don't think he's going anywhere with that one. He only has eight seconds. And here we go, Movistar are going to be the team to catch Kasper Askreen and fly straight past him right here. I have moved to the front. We do have Patrick Conrad, the new Austrian champion, on the wheel of Peter Sagan right now. And I feel like he could definitely be our secret weapon today, as now... Dries Davenens of the Koenig Quickstep on the attack. Things I certainly didn't expect today. Matthew Van Der Poel as well, the former Dutch champion, of course, is trying to follow him. He cannot go up the road, though. And still, we have almost a full peloton. So no surprise to see Cav out the back. I am surprised to see Christoph Laporte here, though. He was a guy I thought could maybe spring a surprise today. But only 5k to go, and we lead the peloton into the finish here. So Nils Pollitt absolutely flying along right now. We can now go up to 90, I think, with Daniel. Os Kelderman as well needs to stay in a really really strong position right here and here we go Daniel Os up to 92 we need to be very very wary of any attacks but here we go the pace is really really high right now can we stay here like this I'm not sure Kelderman needs to move up as well still we have 2k to go I'd love to keep Sagan in a good condition and we're trying our best to do that Comrade is on his wheel though, and Comrade could even be our leader. Look at Vanderpool. Look at Matthew Vanderpool go up the roads here. I can't follow him. Matthew Vanderpool going for the line. Here comes Sagan. Here goes Comrade. Peter Sagan versus Matthew Vanderpool right now, and Peter Sagan is going to win stage one of the Tour de France. What a sprint that was by Peter Sagan beating Vanderpool. Roglic was third as well, and Wilco and Bookman should be right here in the front of the race as well. What a start to the Tour de France that was. I'll tell you what guys, if you ask me who is going to win halfway up that final climb, I certainly would not have said Peter Sagan. Matthew Van Der Poel though, just couldn't hold on on his Grand Tour debut here at the Tour de France. And that does mean Peter Sagan claims the yellow jersey on stage one of the Tour. That is, oh, that is an unreal way to start this race and we do have a split here luckily Keldman did stay to the front of the race but Miguel Angel Lopez lost 18 seconds Bookman as well no biggie he's not going to be leading us in the GC as he's doing in real life it is going to be Keldman going for yellow for us and there are some riders here who I am surprised to see lose time the likes of Jakob Fulsang, Bargill, Teo Gegenhart as well Brandon McNulty, Nairo Quintana so we do have a few little surprises early on Lucas Hamilton as well losing a little time and Chris Froome already losing time at the Tour de France and it was 
Nick Delamini, the last rider to cross the line today. We came close to getting the KOM jersey. Two riders on two points, but it is Casper Pedersen holding that jersey for now. And looking ahead to stage two, it's going to be another cracker because we finish on the Mer de Bretagne, a really punishing final climb. We actually have two ascents of the climb as well. So it should be a fantastic stage and really difficult again for Sagan to try and get that win. For me, I think Alaphilippe or maybe even Roglic could be the favourites there. But if you enjoyed today's video, smash that like button, drop a sub on the channel as well if you're new. Plenty more PCM content coming in the near future and I'll see you guys in the next one.